Okay, this is gonna be my first video of my crawfish pond, raising them, and these drums. I'm gonna go over what I've used. I've watched some videos on YouTube of different ideas, and this is what I've come up with. Trying to do mine a little different, take the good points and bad points of all of them I've seen on YouTube. So this is what I had. I had some 55, blue 55 gallon drums that I cut in half. And online, I've seen a couple people use um, bulkhead connectors. Well, I went up there and priced some bulkhead connectors and they're about $20 a piece. So what I've come up with was I took a one inch MA and a 90 that is threaded and then I found an inch and a half I think it was an inch and a half washer to go on the inside that black thing right there and made a seal and I just put a 90 on it to get it down in the water a little bit and that bottom pipe is a connector pipe it connects all three of my tanks together keep the water level right and that there there's another one inch T and there's a little black connector and I've just got me some crawfish in the last couple of days and here's my filter I'll go over that in a minute but this is the tank that I'm gonna keep the, the pregnant females in and I've got a little piece of metal mesh inside that common return to keep anything from crawfish from getting in there. I've used some one inch T's on my pipe. There for my filter. Uh, one inch T's, 90's, MA's, and that pipe, that 90 going down is a three-quarter 90, and it just slides right into that one-inch pipe. And the bottom return stuff is an inch and a half. That's the biggest I could find threaded so I could do the, uh, the little washer in there to make the seal. And the washer I used was a piece of uh, gasket paper. Or a gasket rubber. I just cut the hole out and put it on there and tighten everything together and it worked good. This here is my filter. That's a five gallon bucket and I've got a just a submergible pump in there that's got the water hose fitting on it that comes out the top of it. And I put it in that five gallon bucket, cut a little hole for my my electrical cord and that that's a just a washing machine hose come out and I got it down in this 55 gallon drum for my water level to keep have extra water so I don't have to come keep coming out here and filling it up and it's just connected to a piece of one inch pipe with a three-quarter inch to water hose connector and it just fit in that piece of one inch piece of conduit pipe there I have and uh, let that down I just took it and drilled some holes in my pipe for my aeration and it just goes through this screen I put this screen up there to keep anything from jumping out but I had some catfish in here and uh, one jumped out of the screen so I had to start putting some two before on top of it to keep the the, uh, anything from getting out. I hadn't had any crawfish get out yet. The water's a little murky because I just separated my some of my crawfish. I got just my pregnant females in here. I've only got two that I've caught. This here is my breeding tank and it's got males and some females in there that hadn't, the females are not pregnant. I don't know if there's one right there and then this one here has just got my big males in it that 
really not going to do be no useful except for eating. There's probably about 10 in there. And uh, my pump, I made it out of the, uh, I guess it was called a Skippy filter that I found online. It's just a submergible pump down in there. And I packed, packed it full, slammed full of them scouring pads. And uh, that I got from Dollar General. And I just set it down in there and it seems to be working good. And uh, that's what I made. And uh, let's see, what else? If you're going to do it like this, you're going to have to have that common pipe in there because I tried it before and didn't have that. And I got a lot of water in one, didn't get a lot of water in another one. So I had to come up with that idea. And. Uh, just started it, had it up and running for about a week now. Just got me some crawfish in it. And uh, just going to see how things go. Well, that's my idea. And I got a light up there so I can see at night. So that's my first video. I'm going to see how things go. See if I can get them breeding in it. And uh, if anybody has any questions or anything, want to know what I'm how I made it, what parts I use, just uh, email me back and let me know and I'll keep everybody posted up and see how things going just as soon as I get some more, some of them to have some babies and get them breeding and uh, maybe I can make a go at it and make a little money on the side. Alright, thank you.